he's back and he's actually taught me a word called bon vivant, which is basically a man about town who knows everything that's culinary, entertainment. What else am I missing? I, I'm you're listening. I'm listening. He's I'm like, like who I'm, is this person? It is you. Sean O'Keefe is back with a yummy dish, hey. a signature cocktail that will make your mouth water. We love it when he stops by. What, so the official definition is of a bon vivant. It's a person sort of about town that kind of has uh, uh, an idea about what's going on around the city. Yes, we and do. then gets pleasure in sharing it or introducing others to it. Yes. So the idea behind it is that you know I I, I have a few things like a, like today and the recipe that. No one has ever gotten to play with outside of the corporate yeah. restaurant. I have it today to play nice. with. So it's, I can share all these little things. So and I'm putting stuff these like, scripts away. We just don't put even them in that drawer. Put them in that drawer with some rubber. Do we need rubber gloves today? <laughs> Let's just keep the food service gloves oh, right. out. Oh, I, keep them out? Are we going to be Why not? Safe? Let's just keep them back Let's here. Let's do it, Sean. I want to do it. I want to um, wear my gloves. No. As always, we're going to start with a signature cocktail. Let's do it. It's getting fall. And I know that you guys are not big sort of have a cocktail during the week, people. We're, we try not to. But this is a really nice cocktail that a friend of mine introduced me to a while ago. And it kind of feels like fall. It does. And it's kind of fall. Right. So, so it seems to fit really well. OK. And you, right. you've got me into bourbon. And Four Roses is absolutely one of your favorites. The fine folks at Four Roses are always uh, so gracious and generous to not only provide what you're serving on the show, but they also, I know we've been at charity events and they have been right there in our community promoting things and helping Every out. Every event that my company has been involved with for the last four years, these guys have provided. They're amazing. Um, somewhat of an elixir to help people loosen yes. up their pockets a little bit yes. and support the charity work vis-a-vis um, -vis the auctions or the you know giveaways yeah. that we do at those items. So much fun. Um, it's a great it's a great company and you know they have the Atlanta connection which is really nice. Yeah. Um, and this is just their regular let's call it their everyday bourbon. Everyday bourbon. And yes. it's two ounces of the everyday bourbon to one ounce of a simple syrup. Okay. Now I've made simple syrups on the show before yeah. with honey. I've made them with brown sugar. This is a really great one and it doesn't add a lot of an additional flavor like there's no thyme put in there or right. rosemary put in there so it's just sugar water just the sugar water Perfect. and then to the bourbon and simple syrup i'm adding cranberry pomegranate juice uh, of course not just cranberry he's got to step and it up and then lime juice okay so this is a, a, a kind of like a Simple. classic sour mm -hmm. but i've added the, the pomegranate to give it a fall color i love it and it makes it a little more festive yeah so can i shake shake it shake 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 i always i love it and I it always ends up going by the microphone, right? Don't, so that's everybody here. Is in. And don't get it on my new Burr outfit, but if you do, I'll be fine. So um, this is um, a drink that we're actually going to be serving on Thursday night. Yes, tell us about the um, event. So it's... Um, uh, the organization is CLAWS, it's Civil Lawyers Against World Sex Slavery. Oh, and it's good. the premiere of a movie depicting the life of a young girl who ends up getting involved in that underground sub Rosa, yeah. very, very awkward ugly culture that we have here in Atlanta all oh, the yes. time. And it has a real heartfelt moment where the family tries to get her back. And it's called Eight Days. It's premiering um, in conjunction with the event at um, the Atlanta History Center, which is not yet open. It's not. Um, I, I live right by there. It's and supposed I drive to be getting it. there soon. I it's going to be beautiful. Well, it said summer of 2015. I'm like, okay, maybe fall. Uh -huh. and it'd be but January maybe, of 2030. But you know what? Those big endeavors, you know, the It's going to be beautiful. It's well, the cyclorama's moving gorgeous. there. Is it really? Yeah, they closed it down by the park, and they're moving it over to, oh, um, fantastic. to there. So enjoy. Mm. Wow. See? It's you simple and nice. You never let me down. You never let me down. And That's this so good. is going to be served okay. in conjunction with this recipe. Mm -hmm. And I've had the opportunity of a lot of friends that want to take part in the nonprofit work that we do. Yeah. And the Capitol Grill has stood by my side Always. in promoting yeah. events from the Georgia Ovarian Cancer Alliance to the Atlanta Steeplechase. And now they're taking a part in the Claws fundraising event on good. Thursday night. And one of the things at the Capitol Grill that I just adore. Is there lobster mac and cheese? I love From start that to finish. Too. And I went by this morning to pick up the ingredients and I said, okay, so what are the cheeses? And they're like, we're not telling you. Oh. I'm like, can you? No, no, we're not telling you. No, they can't. So they gave me the pre made cheese sauce. And I can tell there's 
hardly any calories in this Not whatsoever. Uh, um, I was just thinking that same thing. But it's probably finished with a little bit of salt and white pepper because I don't see any black pepper in yep, there. I don't either. Which is really kind of a nice, elegant presentation. Wow, this looks beautiful. They have one of their fancy noodles that they add. Of course. Can't and then, just do any old penne. Right. And we're just going to stir that around. The sauce is already heated nicely and just going to allow the pasta to warm up a little tiny bit. Perfect. And then what they do to sort of jazz it up a little bit more is yep. some additional Parmesan cheese. See I'm if I can all, get that there I'm and all in. stir that around. Beautiful. And Oop. that'll melt it up nicely. That sauce is actually really and nicely what's temperatured. That, um, what's the uh, crumbly? So breadcrumbs. Ah, of course. It's very simple. Yeah. It's actually, it's actually a very simple, very classic recipe. Yes. It's just the cheese sauce with noodles, a oh. little Parmesan cheese, and then they serve this to you freshly baked I at the table it. side, which is really nice at the event. On Thursday, it's going to be a mac and cheese station, and oh, we're going to be wow. having. Um, Sean, that is. It's going to be really quite great. So there will be awesome. uh, pork belly mac and cheese, truffle mac and cheese, Yum. and then their signature, which is the lobster mac and cheese. So we're just going to finish it with some lovely chunks of knuckle and claw meat, right. and then they finish I'm like, this where's off. Where's my favorite spoon? I have a secret spoon over here. With Somebody, a little bit of here it is. No, it's a, it's a toasted a Parmesan cheese. Look, we're gonna. So oh, this is an. I, I have forks. We're so, so this is what we're going to be having on Thursday we're so night. Here. There are tickets available yet. It's an incredible movie. It's not happy subject matter, but no. it's not a happy subject. I'm doing something on Saturday night for Wellspring, which helps a these women. Incredible women's. organization. Yes, yeah. incredible, Another incredible organization. It's sex trafficking. It's not something we want to talk about, but we have to talk about it with Atlanta being it's huge the in Atlanta. main. Unfortunately, the yep. top city in the country for where this is happening. I'm rapping, Brian, but I have to have a bite. Brian's like, eat, eat and roll. Is that what he up. says, eat? Did you yeah, get the lobster? To, uh, no, I didn't. Um, here we go. Hold on. Okay, thank you, Sean. I love you so much. You always do You're great welcome. Things. Thanks for having and, me. Of course. If you want to chat about Sean O'Keefe, uh, chat with Sean about design, culinary, lifestyle ideas, go to his Facebook at SeanO'KeefeEvents.com. His events are truly second to none. All right, after I eat this, it's time to get up and get moving and grooving. Lace up your shoes.